Welcome to episode two of Pint Sized American Hall of Fame. Now with 100% more Pennsylvania Tuxedo. Ever since the summer of 1995, original beer has been at the heart of Dogfish Head Brewery in Milton, Delaware. They started off as the smallest commercial brewery in the States, and their tiny system meant they could try recipe after recipe. Their love for crazy ingredients and doing all sorts of weird stuff with their beer has grown ever since, and they're now one of the major players in American craft beer. They've played around with raisin beers, 20% ABV beers, green beers, a Belgian strong pale ale with an ingredient from every continent, and a beer made with chewed up and spat out maize. That sounds amazing. <laughs> Today we've got their Pennsylvania Tuxedo, an 8.5% pale ale brewed with hand-picked Pennsylvania spruce tips. The beer pays homage to the flannel-suited hunters and gatherers who dwell deep in the backcountry of North Central Pennsylvania, which is why I've donned one of my own. Is this flannel? It's not even flannel, I think it's nylon. Cotton? That's a really cheap one. Thanks again to Pint Size fan Daniel for sending these ones across. Much appreciated. Let's get this Dogfish Head Pennsylvania Tuxedo into a glass and see what it's like. So this one's actually a collaboration between Dogfish Head uh, Brewery and Woolrick. I think they're a clothes company. Really hope they're not a brewery, otherwise I've got egg on my face. Uh, this one's 8.5%. As I said, it's a pale ale with spruce tips. Let's see if there's a sprucey bonus in here. Oh, Americans won't get that reference. Ugh. There it is in the glass. Whoa, copper goddess. Look at that slightly hazy copper, medium head on there. Kind of off-white head as well. Very yellow, looking at it now. But yeah, not much carbonation. Oh, mmm, herby, big, bready, spicy. Oh yeah, like a nice malt loaf. Don't know what malt loaf is, but I think that's what it smells like. Mm, yeah, also a little bit of citrus coming through there as well. Oh God, this smells, this smells like it's gonna be delicious. Deliciously spritious. Good God. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Oh. Wow. Oh, that is, that is... That's huge. That is malt loaf. Still don't know what it is. Oh, okay, so massively... Massively biscuity, really full-bodied, really dense. <sighs> Looks are deceptive on this one because... Oh, you think it's going to be really crisp, really kind of dancing a little bit about the flavours, but you drink it and it's just 110%. Percent VAT. Mmm. Yeah. Oh, full. Oh, god, that's huge. That's just that huge biscuit, huge bread, really malty, really chewy. And then, as that kind of fades away, you think bitterness is coming in, and then there's some kind of the the sprucey, piney notes kind of fades away, and you get this almost uh, cup of tea level kind of floral back of the nose. It's a really quite. It's it's quite a sensation once you've. Once you've guzzled it down your gizzard. Dogfish heavy. I don't think I'd have more than that bottle, to be fair. It's very filling, really dense, just thick, biscuit cakey, and that piney finish isn't quite enough to make you wanting more and more. That having said though, it's delicious. It's a really interesting beer. And now I know what Pennsylvania Tuxedo is, so, ow. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Pint Sized American Hall of Fame. Remember to check us out on Facebook, forward slash Pint Sized Thinking. Give us a subscribe or a share if you like what you saw. Let me know if you've had this beer or what your favorite dogfish head beer is. Because if it's that, sure do love flannel. Thanks again to Daniel for sending us these amazing beers and bring on episode three. We'll see you then. Good God.